Добрый день, уважаемые коллеги. Мы с вами опять возвращаемся к теме пищевода Барата. Дело в том, что это такая очень большая обширная тема. Dear colleagues, we again have to discuss Barrett's esophagus. It has already been discussed today, but I'm planning to speak not about ablation, but on uh, mucosal dissection, because we have contact with the uh, phenomenon when under the action of uh, the hydrochloric acid uh, uh, the metaplasia of the mucosa of the esophagus takes place and the epithelium uh, changes into pre-cancer stage. This is why the fact that we have specialized metaplasia uh, can signal a danger of uh, later on uh, development of tumors and neoplasms of the esophagus. However, there may be different uh, kinds of metaplasia, uh, low degree metaplasia, high degree metaplasia, pre-cancer stages, early cancer stages. There may be dysplasias of different types, which would result in EMR, endoscopic mucosal resection, uh, in order to prevent uh, the development of carcinomas. When we see uh, this uh, metaplasia of uh, columnar cells, we have to take a decision on the method of treatment. Uh, we do not uh, yet know, perhaps, might be, the endoscopic treatment is not yet indicated or already is not indicated. And we have to choose whether to do ablation or resection of the mucosa. So conceptually, we have either go from left to right or from right to left, might be sent some patients directly to the surgeon, or perhaps just follow up the patients uh, monitoring their condition. In each case, we have to determine what kind of approach should be taken. Might be first we should uh, select the patients uh, who do not uh, have to undergo endoscopic treatment, but uh, who will do well with traditional uh, surgical operation. Uh, the problem is uh, that if we start uh, operating on uh, the esophagus, there is always a risk of damaging the local lymph nodes and uh, the uh, probability of uh, damage to the nodes is from 30 to 50 percent. So how we can understand that the patient uh, requires surgical treatment, and how do we find out whether the lesion of the esophagus is limited only to the mucosa. Um, we have tests, uh, especially tests uh, with lifting of the mucosa, which have not yet been superseded. Uh, if lifting is good, then perhaps 
there is no invasion of the submucosal layers, and the patient can undergo minimally invasive endoscopic treatment. If uh, the submucosa is invaded, then, of course, the traditional surgery uh, should be um, indicated to a greater degree. Uh, however, uh, with uh, new methods of diagnostics like uh, ultrasonic examination, uh, we uh, do not have an accurate method of establishing whether uh, there is lesion of the submucosa or even adenocarcinoma. And uh, resection of the mucosa, it can answer quite uh, a number of questions, including that it may serve as a diagnostic procedure. Uh, with resection of the mucosa, we can determine the invasion depth and it can, and endoscopic resection EMR may be an optimum uh, aid to understand the tumoral process and understand what are uh, the studies of the process. So EMR should be considered as the first stage of the endoscopic treatment. But any uh, noticeable uh, lesion uh, on uh, metaplastic uh, 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 mucosa of the esophagus should be necessarily treated and uh, resected. The patient should be ready for that procedure. And if we see symptoms of esophagitis, we have first treated. And uh, perhaps using an endoscopic examination, so you recall those technologies uh, that uh, were there. And uh, we can uh, do a repeat testing, for instance, electronic chromoscopy uh, using dyes uh, of different fluids, including uh, acids and uh, the diagnosis of Barrett's esophagus as determined by the morphologist, of course, serves as an indication for conservative treatment, especially if we have a dysplasia there. But uh, it could be uh, also uh, desired that another morphologist could be invited for consultations, especially uh, an independent one. What method of resection uh, should be preferred? There are two methods. Uh, one is uh, ligation resection or cap rejection. They are both used uh, uh, on an equal footing. Uh, and uh, we do not yet uh, find any specific advantages of one method of uh, over the other. Uh, Fragmentary resection piecemeal by ligation 
is shorter and easier for the patient uh, than the ER cap method. It uh, has uh, fewer complications, uh, and uh, this method is also uh, very suitable for uh, flat neoplasms, while the ER cap resection uh, it uh, should be used more for protruding or nodular neoplasms. Uh, in Asian countries where resection is uh, used very often, uh, practically they have no patients with Barrett's esophagus, uh, while in Europe and the U.S. Uh, the endoscopic uh, mucosa dissection uh, is uh, less developed and uh, uh, surgeons here and uh, in Europe and the U.S. do not yet have uh, proper skills for performing this surgery. Uh, the idea is uh, that uh, uh, with in case of the Barrett uh, cancer, we should remove the tumor in a single unit and uh, but for that, uh, it is uh, often not possible because only 15% of the patient uh, have a free edge of the tumor. Uh, but we can resect a piece of the esophagus for proper analysis by morphologists. So the European Association of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy uh, published guidelines saying that it is not yet proven that the results of dissection uh, are much better than uh, that in uh, with resection, uh, while resection is recommended in cases when the lesion is uh, more than 15 millimeters in size, and the tumor does not protrude from the skin. Also, the patients uh, that already have cancer uh, will uh, and it is very often that after resection of the mucosa, uh, uh, which was uh, resected after resection of a part of the esophagus, 30% of such patients in three years' time will have a recurrence of the condition. And it is at this moment that it will be necessary to eradicate the whole segment of the Barrett's uh, esophagus. Coming back to these patients, the situation like that uh, uh, begins uh, when there is a segment, a uh, metaplastic uh, segment, which remained in place in the mucosa uh, after a resection or ablation was performed. What can be done in this case? Uh, we may, can make uh, the resection piecemeal uh, confident and competent. Uh, now, uh, 
uh, since uh, it is uh, uh, when we have a radical in this copic resection, intophagus becomes stenotic, and this uh, always uh, turns into a very unpleasant procedure for the patient. And sometimes uh, stenosis of the esophagus develops, uh, which uh, causes more suffering for the patient. If we compare the results of the piecemeal resection uh, in order to remove the segment of the Barrett's esophagus, uh, instead of a visible uh, tumor, we will receive practically the same results after EMR or radiofrequency ablation. However, the complications after the piecemeal resection are much greater and three times more often than after ablation or dissection. And uh, our methods, uh, methods we use to treat stenosis, uh, like inflation or massaging it on the bougie, uh, they endoscopic methods could not be con considered as the leading methods in eradication of the virus esophagus. What methods can be justified from the viewpoint of oncologists and development of uh, the progress of the illness? So these are uh, RFA, radio frequency ablation, the protocol recommended by the American Association of Endoscopists, and the procedure itself is uh, technically not easy. Uh, it's technically easy, and uh, its schematic is uh, becomes very clear immediately, and uh, it is even ready to uh, put in dates which may be perhaps uh, too unnerving for the patient. Another technology is uh, Argon and plasma coagulation plus water jet dissection. It has also been uh, recommended for as a method of treatment, but it is used uh, from time to time. We can producing a water cushion. Uh, between the mucosa and the muscular layer, we can use aggressive uh, thermal action on the mucosa uh, without going to risks uh, after ablation or uh, development of strictures. In conclusion, I would say that the resection of the mucosa with Barrett's esophagus should be done even if there are no endoscopic signs of invasion, because after resection, the samples may be uh, analyzed morphologically and it will uh, make the differential diagnostic easier and more accurate for the whole. 
resection of the mucosa is not indicated for uh, columnar cell metaplasia. Thank you for attention. Thank you, Kirill Vyacheslavovich. Now, do you have questions to the speaker? <laughs> 